Welcome back to Sports Headlines and Jackson Cougar Sports. If you guys are new, I'm Sean. And I am Warner. And we are very, very excited um, to bring you this film breakdown on Darnell Savage and this Packers defense. Uh, we believe, Sean and I, that he is the linchpin to the capstrung Packers in competing for a Super Bowl next season. So at the snap of the ball, John o. Smith starts to go inside towards the hash marks, but he takes a quick uh, turn or as quick as you can in the snow. But notice Darnell Savage's quick feet, um, fluid hips, and able he's able to snap his head around in this what we call a man turn to stay with John o. Smith and really be blanketed right over him. T- Tannehill throws the ball. Savage undercuts the route and bats it away. Very, very sound. Uh, skills by the second year DB out of Maryland. Yeah, and the Packers defense really struggled towards the start of the season in almost every department on the field, especially run defense. But Darnell Savage anchoring that back half alongside Jair Alexander was really big for, you know, a better second half on defensive side. All right, so here we go from uh, the Eagles versus the Packers here in the late 2020 NFL season. Right here, the Packers are going to be running a cover three look. So they're going to have three uh, three men deep, four men underneath, and rush four um, on rookie quarterback Jalen Hurts. Darnell Savage is circled in blue. And um, this particular cover three is called cover three sky, where the safety drops down into the curl flat area um, outside the numbers. So as Hurts gets the snap, Savage actually takes two steps in towards the numbers of the hash uh, to the hash marks and then he turns around and sprints he reads uh, Jalen Hurts eyes he turns around and sprints to the sideline to the 30 yard line and picks off Jalen Hurts with a spectacular diving interception uh, then sliding down and getting props from his teammates and one thing that I really got that you can see from this view here is when Hurts gets the ball he immediately turns and, and starts to go through his reads, but he looks there, looks back at, um, looks to, you know, look off the safety. But Darnell Savage did the same thing that Hertz did, that tried to do to him, which was look off the quarterback here in this case. So he feigned that he was going towards the middle and that section of the field was going to be wide open because there was no defender there. And then Darnell Savage used his speed and his athleticism to get to the sideline and dive and intercept the ball. Now, it was not a good throw at all by Jalen Hurts, but it was a spectacular and a really sophisticated play by um, this young second-year player, Darnell Savage. Yeah, one thing I noticed when, when we looked at the play initially, if you could rewind it back, um, you might wonder, well, this why is this man coverage? Because at the top of your screen, you guys can see Kevin King is lined up in uh, – man-to-man coverage, but it, in zone coverage, you don't guard grass. You guard you you guard men. You guard people, right? Because if, Darn, if Kevin King had guarded this zone area, which would be his zone, actually probably closer to right here, this entire area of the field is wide open. And Adrian Amos right here, he's working his way back. So this is why Warner really, you know, there was a lot of shade at Kevin King, but Kevin King, he could have messed this up a lot on this play. This could have been a potential touchdown if Kevin King didn't follow the principle of, hey, you don't guard grass, you guard people. I just thought that was important to point yeah, out. Yeah, 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 100%. And um, that's one thing that the best cover linebackers do, like Eric Kendricks of the Vikings. I think he's the best linebacker in the game, and that's part of the reason here. But, you know, Kevin King's a free agent right now, and, I, and there's no way I want him back on the Packers. But a team that I think would really benefit from signing him and giving him a shot and what Kevin King would benefit for in terms of his career uh, success and longevity would be a a Seattle or or a Dallas, some team that runs a a press cover three scheme. Kevin King is is six foot two. He's good at press. He's good at um, keeping his eyes on the quarterback. But when you have to play man coverage, as evidenced by the Scotty Miller touchdown right before half, against Tampa Bay, he can get lost looking at the quarterback. So in, in, a, in a cover three scheme where he can keep his eyes on the quarterback and, and almost do what Savage did and work the quarterback a little bit, I think he would be really, really successful in that, in that scheme. 
All right, here we go with the next play. This is against the Chicago Bears. I know Savage actually had two interceptions this game, and I'll give you a heads up right now. This is one of them. So it's man coverage across the board. You've got a trips bunch set uh, to the right side of Mitch Trubisky on the Bears line, and you've got man coverage, as I said, across the board uh, with the cover one hole being played over the top. What that is is there's a hole defender, so either a linebacker will drop back or a safety will drop down into that intermediate zone right there. That's where Sa that's Savage's assignment here. And uh, the other safety will cover over the top in sort of a deep middle. Um, so as this play goes along, you'll see something that's really the, the best of the best do in this game. And that is they play with their instincts and, and again, cover men, not grass. Savage could easily right here sit in his zone, but at the snap of the ball, he is reading Mitchell Trubisky's eyes, and he sees right off the bat that Kevin King, sorry, Kevin King again, but he gets beat by Anthony Miller here coming across the field. Now, he sees that, and he actually does a really, really good zone turn, flips his hips, and runs with Miller across the field, then turns his head again and makes a really, really nice interception on Mitchell Trubisky. Now, he was down at the spot, but that is a very, very fantastic play and showing good instincts there by Savage. So if you watch it again here, Savage is, is lined up in a two-man look, but he has the hole. He drops down, sees Anthony Miller, and then sprints straight backwards and, and makes a brilliant interception. And, and Trubisky probably had no business throwing that ball, but he could have put it in a better spot. What a play by Darnell Savage. Heck of a play. All right, here we go. Um, going up against the Jacksonville Jaguars, they're going to be welcoming a new quarterback um, into their room, but they did not have Trevor Lawrence here in this game, although I think any quarterback could have made this play. It's a spectacular play by Darnell Savage. However, it's main coverage across the board. There's a two-man look. Um, some people call it a cover eight, uh, where both safeties drop back and um, cover deep halves. So uh, Savage, knowing this, knowing his responsibility, he knows that he has uh, the ability to look at the quarterback and read his eyes. So he's going to do just that. Um, at the snap of the ball, he takes his read step, glances at the uh, coverage, and boy, Josh oh boy, Jackson. Josh Jackson <laughs> got absolutely destroyed by DJ Chark at the bottom of your screen. Savage is looking at the crossing route thinking that um, they're going to, that Glennon's going to go for the, for the crosser, but he, turns around, pivots his hips in a great zone turn, catches up to DJ Chark, who has 4-3 speed, and is able to place his head firmly on the football and knock it away. Well, that's not even Mike Glennon. Um, but yep, Jake Glennon. takes the snap. And what a recovery. He is 15 yards behind a 4-3 speed receiver in DJ Chark, one who is not too shabby at all at the deep ball and catches up with him after having to flip his hips in his own turn. And he plays his head on the ball and bails out a teammate, Josh Jackson. Yeah, and if you go back to talk like the flip hips part, that's one of the things you evaluate in some of these, like we're evaluating these young corners is at, or in safeties, but corners as well. You have to be able to flip your hips in zone coverage and get back. Um, and this is the point where, Darnell Savage does right right here. He sees, okay, Josh Jackson is just murdered. He is <laughs> it's, lost. It's great man. instincts, too. He sees that out of the corner of his eye. And, and you see his, his right leg kind of drop back. And, and it's a huge step, but sometimes that's what you need um, in order to be, be able to you know, compensate for having to make up that much ground at that quick of time. He, he drops the leg back. And the, the, the turn is in less That's than a, a frame. Play. I mean, he flips the hips, keeps his eyes on DJ Chark, and sees that he's beginning to make the motion to catch the ball. He's a good five yards behind him as he comes up and knocks the ball out with his helmet. What a fantastic play by Darnell Savage. All right, here we go. Um, the Packers are trying to now come back in the NFC Championship game. The Bucks have the ball up five points, 9.44 left to go in the ball game. And this is a critical sequence here. So Darnell Savage, as you can see, is lined up down uh, towards the, the middle of your screen. 
right there. And he is, he is technically in the slot. Now, one thing that you know with Darnell Savage is he can cover man coverage. He can cover zone coverage. He can flip his hips and he can also blitz. He is a do it all versatile freak athletic free safety. And you'll see this right here. So uh, Jai Alexander is man to man on Mike Evans and Brady gets the play action and lobs it up. And you may be saying, well, where's Darnell Savage? That was Jai Alexander who made the pick, but you can see it here from this next view. Um, you see, it looks like a cover one look from the Packers. Uh, and it was quick, but see if you can catch it here. Darnell Savage comes right off the edge, screaming in Tom Brady's face and forces a bad throw. So, I mean, he just blows right by Leonard Fournette, who's supposed to have his, who's, who's supposed to be blocking uh, the, the DB blitzer, the linebacker blitzer, gets in Tom Brady's face. And here's the key thing, runs past him. He puts his hand up, runs past him, does not make a penalty or a foul roughing the passer call, and instead forces Tom Brady into a really awful throw right to his corner, Jay Alexander, to give the Packers the ball back. Yeah, it's a really big play. The Packers did not do anything with it. However, as they will go on and lose the NFC Championship game. All right, and that no is going to rub it in there. No need to rub it in. That's going to wrap up today's uh, film breakdown, guys. This is our first video for Jackson Kruger Sports Production. So if you guys want to see more, make sure you guys subscribe over there. If you guys like our content, make sure you guys follow, subscribe to us on our YouTube page, S4 Lines. Link will be down below in the description. Um, you can follow me on us on Twitter at Sports Town Line 8. And we have some more draft content coming on our channel and on JKS Jackson Cooper Sports Productions. Rashawn Davis, that's Warner Sanker, and we'll see you guys in the next episode.